Okay, so let's talk about the movie Speak No Evil, which is going to have a remake coming out in a couple of weeks, and we will definitely be checking that out and talking about it, but I wanted to go ahead and watch the film, the original one, which is called The Guest, and then it's titled Speak No Evil for some reason. So this is a film directed by Christian Toftrup, and it is a film that is... I don't know how to really go into it without giving spoilers, so I won't really give spoilers if you haven't seen it. And I think also it is great to watch this movie before you watch the remake if you want, but if you don't want to, I feel like the remake's gonna be just the same. So this is a film that basically follows a couple with their daughter who meet another couple with a son at a sort of holiday of sorts in Italy. And then they start to bond off, hit it off, right? And you eventually see that things aren't what they seem to be when the couple with the daughter gets invited to the other couple with the son's countryside place and then things just start to fall apart very very quickly before we get into the review and all of that i want to ask you to subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button hit that notification button we are on the road to 35,000 subscribers we already reached 33,000. thank you very much for that and we are about 2,000 away from that 35,000 mark we wanted to reach 35k before august we have about four or five days i don't know can we get to at least 34,000? that that'd be awesome if we can but let's talk about the film speak no evil but let me tell you this is a film that i had been hearing about for some time it came out in 2022 and it was very divisive and after watching the film i can kind of get why it's divisive it is a bit of a slow burn but i feel it's not a slow slow burn you know there's some movies that are slow burns but they really do flesh themselves out a lot this movie is like under an hour and 40 minutes and it really does move at a very good pace because the whole time you're watching this you're just anticipating what's coming next and this film is all about how how sometimes you just gotta say no you know like sometimes you just have to just sit there and be like you know what that doesn't sit right with me I don't think that's right I don't feel comfortable with this and I don't care if you think I'm rude I'm doing this for my own sake and I'm not gonna do anything else right so I think that is where this movie really gets what it's about, right? It's a movie about sort of seeing that don't really have to keep going with something if we don't feel comfortable. And sometimes we do it because out of politeness or we don't want to offend and all of that. But sometimes you just got to put a stop to things. So I thought that everybody here as well, everybody involved in the ensemble cast was great. It is a very small cast, probably due to the fact that this had been filmed during the uh, pandemic and all of this. But I really th think everybody did a tremendous job because a lot of what you rely on in this film is not really the imagery and all of that. It is more the dialogue. It is more of the facial expressions that the characters have for one another and how they react to certain things and back and forth. This is a film that really does a well job at really upping the suspense and the thrill of it by just seeing these scenarios play out and you're just there thinking why would they do that oh man and you're just like groaning and you're just like damn like i i don't know what to, i don't know how to feel about all of this right and you put yourself in these scenarios as well of you've been in scenarios where you don't want to do something or you really don't want to say something to someone because you don't want to offend them and you're just like yeah this is how bad things could get and i thought it was so uh well done i think the actor who played patrick whose name is fedsha van hoa I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, that's a Dutch actor. I think he did a tremendous job at playing this character that is so sinister, like something's lurking beneath them. But at the same time, they can come off charming when they need to. And I thought that that was a amazing work from the actor here as well. I think that they did a tremendous job at doing that. Now, in the remake, we will have James McAvoy playing this character, which I'm curious to see James McAvoy's portrayal of it. Overall, though, I think that with this film got right, was just giving us the very like nature of feeling awkward, of feeling uncomfortable. And that's what it does. It's a movie that's more been marketed as a horror and all of that, but I feel it's more of a social commentary. And I think that if you're going into this looking for a straight up horror, you might be a bit disappointed. The third act really does pick up a lot. And it's like a movie that reaches that third act is that this movie really does get crazy. It really does deliver something that left me speeches by the end. And I think that's all because the director and everybody involved here did a great job in those first two acts 
climax at really fleshing out the whole story of really getting us in a sort of safe space of oh things can't get any much more worse than what this is right but once a big reveal in that third act comes and the characters realize the peril and danger they are in that's when the movie really does get you by the grips and leaves you just there by the end those 20 minutes that are like left are just like some of the moments that you just watch in silence because how great they were able to accomplish everything they did i truly did enjoy this movie i don't know why there's a remake on the way i really recommend it and definitely worth checking out maybe before the remake if you can like i said it's not too long it's about an hour and 40 or less and it is just such a well-paced well-acted and just a terrifying film honestly with so much underneath it to unpack as well i will be talking about the uh ending and all of that in spoilers in another video this week so stay tuned for that because i do want to get into that and more about the themes about the movie and what it's about because i think there's so much to unpack there but i'm excited as well for the remake because i think james mcavoy is such a great actor and that's what really sold me Watching this movie now and thinking of James McAvoy in this role also gets me excited. So we'll see how the remake is. We'll be watching that probably next next week, I believe. That's when it comes out. So very excited to watch that movie. But let me know if you watch Speak No Evil, if you enjoyed it or not. I know it's a divisive film. Some people didn't really vibe with it. I liked it. I like slow burns. And like I said, it's a very well-paced slow burn. Sometimes slow burns can take a bit to flesh out. This one just gets to it. So very excited to hear more thoughts on everybody who's watched this. And if they enjoyed it or not, comment below. And like I said, we are on the road to 35,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. But we do give Speak No Evil 2022 four and a half stars out of five. I think just some of the things in the film felt a bit redundant. And I feel like if they cut certain scenes and just got to other aspects of it, it would have felt a little bit more harder hitting. But I will say as well that I'm very curious about Speak No Evil 2024 because people are saying it's different from this one. So I'm curious what they change, what they tweaked, and where exactly they're taking the story, right? Because I think this one ends in a way where it's definitive, right? Like there is an aspect of it where it feels like it could keep going, but at the same time, it's like, I don't think it needs to keep going, but We'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyways, as always, that's going to do it for me. I'll see all of you next time on the road to 35,000 subscribers. As always, stay safe, stay positive.